مرحبا وصباح الخير مس جي جي سيفنت جريد ستودنتس كيف حالكم بخير شكرا for tuning in and listening to our new lesson boys and girls this week we are going to continue the second part of unit 2 which is sports and hobbies so the first part we talked about الرياضه sports hobbies الهوايات we also talked about how to make sentences uh, about our favorite sports and hobbies الاحب كرة القدم العب كرة القدم ومارس السباحة أحب الألعاب الإلكترونية أمارس القراءة لا أحب التسوق Remember boys and girls in the first unit of this uh, uh, of the sports and hobbies you learned about the uh, sport uh, the vocabulary about sports and hobbies in arabic and also verbs related to that topic so the second part of uh, this uh, unit we are going to be learning about the adverbs of frequency for example how many times a week do you play soccer how many times do you go shopping sometimes never always you know these are the adverbs of frequency you're also going to be introduced to adjectives related to sports and hobbies you are also going to learn how to make sentences with i with different pronouns like i he she you know you're going to be uh, making a beautiful project about your favorite athletes or artists and last but not least you will be looking at different uh, uh different sports that are uh you know practiced in arab countries so hayya nabda in this lesson you're going to learn like i just said how to use the adverbs of frequency in sentences while talking about sports and hobbies how to use the personal pronouns he she i with verbs and sentences and how to add adjectives to your sentences you'll also do a project on your favorite athlete and artist or artist and learn about specific sports that are played in the arab countries for today boys and girls and this is lesson four from unit two we are going to talk about the adverb of frequency. You are going to learn how to name three adverbs of frequency and how to put them in sentences. So our learning target is I can name three adverbs of frequency. And you have them here. In English, I have all the time, always, and every day. All right, so let's have a look at these adverbs in, uh, uh, you know, in, in details. As always, looking at the name tracker, I would like all of us to start at Novus. And hopefully by the end of this lesson, you will all be on Apprentice still learning. All right, boys and girls. So in Arabic, the adverbs or frequencies are called ظروف من التردد. You don't need to know this, but I wanted to show it to you. Adverbs of frequency is ظروف من التردد. ظروف من التردد. Okay, so here they are. We are going to learn how to say every day in Arabic, all the time and always. Every day is kulla yawm. Every day is kulla yawm. All the time is da'iman. Da'iman. And always is da'iman. All right. Let me skip this slide. I think there's a mistake in it. Let me go to the study guide. 
every day is كل يوم كل يوم ألعب كرة القدم كل يوم I play soccer every day every day is كل يوم always is دائما دائما is always uh, for example أمارس السباحة دائما I practice swimming always I always practice swimming and sometimes is أحيانا أحيانا ألعب كرة السلة أحيانا I play basketball أحيانا sometimes كل يوم دائما أحيانا so here are the three adverbs of frequency that you need to know all right this is a game that is on uh, Nearpod it's a pairing game and now let's see how we can put these adverbs into sentences here are three examples using all three of them I play soccer every day Alab, I play كرة القدم soccer كل يوم every day I practice basketball sometimes أمارس I practice كرة السلة basketball أحياناً sometimes I play tennis all the time ألعب I play كرة المضرب tennis دائماً all the time all right, boys and girls, you already know the verb alab, umaris. You already know the words for sports: kurat al qadam, kurat al salla, kurat al madrib. So now you are adding the adverbs of frequency: kull yawm, every day, ahyanan, sometimes, and daiman all the time. All right, here's another activity. Well, boys and girls, we reached the end of our, you know, first lesson in, uh, in the second part of Unit 2. And we started as notice or novice being all new. And I hope uh, by now you are on apprentice. We are still learning. Uh, of course, when we are doing it in our class, we have many activities that are uh, educational games and activities on Nearpod and, of course, documents that I share with you. So please listen carefully to this uh, video and don't forget to practice. All right. I want to tell you shukran for uh, tuning in and for listening to this uh, new lesson. And uh, I'll, I'll see you next time. All right. Shukran. Ma'as-salama.